Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button and the post notification button so you can get an alert every time I post a new video. So I'm excited for today's vlog because I'm actually getting interviewed by a group of students that wanted to interview a social media influencer and they wanted to know about how you know they went about how you start how I started what were some of my struggles what inspires me uh, what's my message going out towards my fan base my following so I'm super excited to be collaborating with these college students to be able to provide my story and let them know what motivates me how what was the reason behind me getting started in my journey in entrepreneurship YouTubing um, my merch all of that it's exciting um, I, I'm always about giving back you know it's not about it's it's do, it doesn't matter where you're at today it doesn't matter what you did yesterday the point is that tomorrow is a new opportunity you can get started if you, you mess up today you can get started again tomorrow okay don't ever give up on your dreams if you have a goal think about it plan it down write it down and make sure you go after it if you guys need any help if you have any questions you want to start your own business you want to start your channel um, you want to start a clothing line anything any questions you guys have go ahead and comment down below or you can send me a DM on Instagram my handle will be listed down below as well so go ahead send me a message I would love to help you guys out I would love to hear you guys the stories you guys plans and who knows maybe we can do a feature on the vlog uh, coming soon so I'll catch you guys later at the interview okay so my name is Jose Reyes and I do creative things. I am a social media marketer, also a YouTuber, and I have my own brand apparel. That's really cool. All right, um, since when and what led to the decision to become a social influencer? Uh, I want to say it started in 2015 when I started my entrepreneurship. I, start, I wanted to be a realtor at the time mm -hmm. and I discovered that that wasn't my passion and that's when I got into marketing. So I started doing social media marketing when Facebook start when Facebook was around and Instagram was starting to begin and starting uh, being more effective. So that's when I started learning more about the business and I started marketing more towards realtors, lenders in that area. Then I decided to go on my own and start my own agency, and it's been a, it's been a success since. And then this year in 2020, I started my whole YouTube venture, my my YouTube channel, and I started my brand, which has been very successful. So I want to say I started about five years ago to today. Um, did anything or somebody influence you to become a social media influencer? Failures. Failures was my biggest motivation. Um, the fact that you try and you try and you try and you keep failing and failing and failing but you never give up because you have that goal is what inspired me to become an influencer. To let the youth, to let, um, you know, I used to coach when I was a kid. Um, well, to this day, I used to coach soccer, so I have a lot of like younger generation that follows me. So I wanted to let them know that no matter what you do in school, no matter how many times you mess up, you can always change and and be that good person that you've always dreamed about. You could always reach that goal. So no matter how many failures you go through, you can always get back up and you can always keep fighting for that goal. So that's what led me to starting the YouTube and becoming an an influencer. Um, at the beginning of your adventure, how did you decide what type of content you wanted to post? Um, at the beginning, I was just posting stuff to grab attention, and then I became more creative about it, where I decided to be more real, more myself. So I don't post a bunch of not, I don't post a bunch of stuff. Um, it's just most about my life. It's about the stuff I go through, my accomplishments. I try to post a lot of my failures as well because I want people to know that I am real and I'm not just posting a fairy tale on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I want them to know that it is tough out there. You know, it's not it's not an easy thing to go out there and fight for your goal, but it's worth it at the end of the day. So it, it's just you know I, I I'm just real. You know, I post just my life, my family, the stuff that I do, and I'm just myself on social media. The same person that you'll meet, it's the same person you'll see on social media. Um, what social platform did you start off with? Instagram. Instagram has been my biggest influential platform. Um, it's just a lot of the younger generation was already on it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm across all platforms, but social media has been the strongest, um, the easiest one in my opinion, to gain the following, to build that, that audience that you're looking for. Um, within your followers, what type of culture are you trying to build? Uh, well, obviously, you know, I, I I reach out to a lot of the Hispanic community, um, and like I said, you know, I, I just I want to let them know that you know we 
can be somebody, right? We we can always push ourselves to be somebody. And I want to put a name out there for for a Hispanic community, definitely. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, so I definitely just want to put it out there for you know our community and let them know that hey, we can be those people as well. We can be somebody in life. We can we can hit our goals, but we really gotta be determined for it. Um, how long did it take you to get um, thirteen thousand followers on Instagram, and what was the process like? Okay, so gaining the followers, it was a little bit easier back in the day. So I actually went from about 10,000 followers in about nine months. And then after that, um, everything just, I, after that, I, I slowed down on focusing on followings and I focused more on my content. So then it's just been growing little by little after that based off the content. But the process on growing to 10,000 was a lot of commitment. I was actually working a full-time job, growing my Instagram, engaging with my audience, engaging with the people that I wanted to follow me, engage, um, sending messages, um, replying to comments, to everybody that I thought would benefit from my content. And while I was building that audience, then I was, then I just, then I built the audience, then I decided, okay, now let me focus on my content. And now I've just been focused more on content and let the following grow on its own. Um. How do you feel when you get a lot of social approval on your posts? Uh, that's a good. That's obviously uh, that's a great feeling. You know, it's it's what you want to see. You want you want your following's reactions. You want to know that whatever I share or whatever any influencer shares, like it's being effective. You know that um, they find it valuable for them, right? That I was able to inspire somebody. That somebody replies to me and says, "Thank you so much. I needed this today." You know, that's a good feeling, right? Someone says, "Thank you. You you inspired me to." keep fighting for my goals or you inspire me to start my new business like all that is just it, it's it's like this is what I started this platform for to help others right to motivate others and push them to growing their whatever their goal is so it's it's amazing that's the best feeling it's the best reward I can get um, how carefully planned out are your posts how carefully planned are my posts yes I do I do focus a lot of, um, I don't post every day I don't post a lot for the same reason because they are strategically um, I don't want to bombard everyone with a bunch of stuff so when my post comes up I have to think about um, why did I take this picture what's my caption behind it so every time I take a picture there's a reason why I took that picture what was my idea behind taking the picture right um, so what was my idea behind taking the picture what's gonna be my caption and what am I trying to get out to my to my following so every post is, plan is planned out from the moment I take that picture so if I say, if I decide to take a picture here today, um, it's gotta be for a reason, something that inspired me out of someone. Um, and then I'll go ahead with my caption. And then what am I trying to get out to my following? Um, how does social media influence the way you interact in social spaces? There's no different effect because I portray, I am the same person on social media that I would be in person. So nothing changes about me. Um, if you see me, if you see my profile on social media, when you meet me, um, a lot of the reaction I get from a lot of people that follow me is like, oh, I feel like I've already known you because I'm so real on social media. I don't, I don't hide behind stuff. I try to give them a lot of my stories where it's personalized to me. So, and I'm always very influential. So no matter where I'm at, um, if I'm talking to someone that's playing some type of sport, then I will always motivate them or, you know, help them influence them into getting better at their game or, or you know just doing a better job at whatever they're doing and whatever their goal is so it does I would say it doesn't really um, change the way I'm in social media to in person I am the same person uh, on both platform and in person that's great um, do you do specific things because you know that it will get you more engagement at times you, we do um, depending on the situation or depending where I'm at then yeah I would do certain things just because you want to grow that following um, at the same time, yes, you want to be influential, you want to be there for them, but, you know, you try to be real, so, you know, we might do some type of pranks or different things to grab attention and, and grow more following, get more likes and stuff like that. So, you know, you try you try to interact a lot with your fan base, so whatever is going to help in the interaction, then we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and work with that. And then lastly, what advice would you give to someone who is trying to become a social influencer like you? What advice would I give someone that's trying to be a social influencer? Just do it. Just get started. I get that question all the time. Um, I have a lot of like 
younger generation asking like oh, I want to start my YouTube channel I want to start a business I want to be an influencer on social media like what do you what do you suggest what should I do um, my answer is just get started you know find out who you want to target what is what is the message you're trying to get across and get started because if you keep thinking about it if you keep delaying it you're never gonna get started and times is gonna pass and pass and pass so if you have an idea if you know who your audience is and you really want to do it then just get started well guys that's a wrap for today i am so grateful uh for having them interview me and asking me about how i got started what was my motivation what inspired me i hope i was able to um, get to some of you guys if you guys found this uh, video extremely inspirational to you or if you got anything out of it comment down below let me know what you thought about it if you guys have any questions once again make sure you go to my instagram and you send me a dm i would love to hear you guys the stories answer your questions and like i said maybe we can do a collaboration video soon uh we can you know expose your brand expose your business i would love to have you guys on the vlog so you know let's talk send me a message my instagram is listed down below i would love to hear from you guys and once again if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can get an alert every time i post a new video i promise you i got some great content coming for you guys in this next coming week i have a surprise for you guys something i'm actually going to do tomorrow and you guys will see it next week um some of you guys might see it on social media before so stay tuned follow me on instagram if you haven't um new merch the new merch is coming stay tuned as well make sure you follow me uh make sure you jot down the website is listed down below follow me on instagram because that's where i'll be releasing it um new inspirational teas are coming out there's a whole new line so get ready for it i'm super excited i am so grateful i want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me everybody that follows me everybody that has purchased from me i truly appreciate every single one of you guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video all right peace